Tonight we have the camp. Hi, John. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Bowie. Lena. You really gonna brush your teeth right now? Well, yeah, because you made me turn the camera on and I was in the middle of kind of just picking my teeth, but I won't do it. Mm. Who's talking? I'll talk. All right. John? Yeah. You don't mind if we all pipe in, though, do you? No, George. Mm. So, today was the roughest day of therapy that you've ever had, physical or emotional. You can show Bun. Hey, Bunny. Bunny always sticks around when I'm going through it. And How wild, Bun. Wild Ben. Sweet wild Benny. Mm. So, this was the roughest day. Yeah. It was an expulsion of demonic energy. My God. Mm. Talk to me, Johnny. Can you stop picking your teeth for just a minute? Yes. All right. I'm sorry. You know, I told you, you got to be at your best when I like these, uh, when I, when I want you to get on the camera. So, you know, personal best, personal best. Okay. We had some breakthroughs this morning. Go back and look at the videos. If anybody has any interest in seeing what Lena went through this morning. I know I always tell you this is the worst of it, Lena. We're just getting, but every time we do it, it is the worst of it. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry, love. I'm so proud of you that you got up out of meditation and you felt, you felt like a truck had run you over and I felt it too. And you said, I'm going to start painting my box there for Christopher for his Christmas present. Yeah, another beetle box and this time it's Christopher's and I'm not saying the theme. It's funny that it matches our Neptune picture that's just above it there. Yeah. But the beetle box is going to be have holograms on it and it's going to be really good. It's going to be really crazy and nutty. Hmm. Or not. I don't know. Maybe it'll just be normal and stuff. <laughs> So John promised me a doggy today, and even though that doggy is not here now, he's showing me that doggy, and the doggy is on the way. And yes, she's already in my arms, and she's adorable, and she looks like something like a dog that I almost adopted many years ago when it ran away from a neighbor's house. Oh. They weren't treating it well, and I took it in for a day. And I never should have given it back to them. I should have been braver. I should have been braver and just kept that dog. Beautiful puppy. Oh. Like a little bear. More than you know, Lena, 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 Lena. And he put you here to do it too, when you try to do it all. Why didn't I keep her? Why? Because you were living in a very small apartment and very poor circumstance, Lena. Oh, forget it. Come on. Buck up. Yeah, come on. I can't bear for you to be so sad. She's back and she's going to be with you this time. She always knew she belonged with you. So why did I let her go? Because you just didn't feel she belonged to you, Lena. They just forget it, Lena. It's going to be made right now, okay? 
You don't have to pose this if you don't want. No, I want to because when she comes, I'm going to be so happy that I can look back at this and see how much progress I made. I'm sorry, I'm brushing my teeth again. It's all right. I like these little toothbrushes. Where's the camera? Where the hell's the camera on this thing? Where the fuck's the camera? <laughs> is it here? Is it here? Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh, don't look at that. <laughs> Those little toothbrushes, though. They're really cute. And I'll show the clean sign. Show your snails tonight. All right. Hello, snails. They're already sick of me. No, they're fine. Going to uh, my kids. That's that's uh, Liza hanging from the top there. She likes that netting. She's about to fall right on her ass. Do snails have an ass? And, and Ryan is somewhere under the... I don't know what he's doing. He's like chilling out today somewhere. I don't know. There he goes. There he is. He's right here. Hey, Ryan. Mm. Tomorrow is the first day cleaning their terrarium. Mm. Nice small little terrarium. Very manageable. So I'm not going to get any more snails right now. They're fine. They're all the oldest snail I need in my life. Mm. How are you, doll? All right. I'm fine. Mm. Did you do the box later? Could finish the box and you think you'll be up for that's Bowie. Yeah, do you think you'll be up for playing some guitar tonight on film? I'm not gonna be filmed, but I'll I may be I'll okay. Good. Let's do that. Mm. It's early. Spent the day in meditation. You're okay. Okay. Mm. Not much more to say. No, there, there wouldn't be. Mm -hmm. Oh, you moved. <laughs> You're a tricky one. Yeah, tricky as me. You are the laughing gnome. Not always laughing, honey. It's hard to watch you go through this. And no, we're not going to talk about anybody else tonight but you. It's all about you tonight. Mm. Some funny videos today, though. You really, you really are pissy, you know. Mm. So are you. Mm. Beth was quick to tell me I'm a bit of a comedian. I never saw anything comical in anything she did. Mm. How do you feel about her? I, I don't much like her. I don't much like anybody except Nan right now. Mm. And the home team, of course, but as far as the girls went, you know, the friends, the coven, hmm. yeah, I don't care for them. Or is that wrong? No, it's fine. You can't love a demon. Mm -hmm. God wouldn't want us. No, no, no. That's a different energy. That's not God energy. You can't love a demon. So demons are not part of the unconditional love thing. Well, they'd have to transmute their energy. And so far, not seeing a lot of success in that area. That's what the black holes are for, and we talked about that in the past. And Lena, you've even exorcised a black hole or 10 or 12 or 20. Without even knowing it, you have, like, exorcised whole black holes full of dark energy. So you need the exorcism for the, for the black hole subjects. You, and, you know, Beth needs an exorcism, and so does uh, OG. Mm. Right. So. So you recognize that and you don't 
like that energy. It's not healthy energy and it doesn't make you feel well. And that's what was kind of pouring out of you today. And that's why when you went down for meditation, yes, six hours, folks, mm, folks, yeah. Well, we're folk to you. Yeah, I know, honey. Hmm. So six, like six hours, I fucking passed out, but it was an exhaustion. And yeah, you know, John, my mother, like this past year has been slowly trying to creep back into my life and I've been letting her mm -hmm, even sending gifts, uh, but doing it to please you, John, I know that. Like, here, I'm doing, John, look, I'm doing my best. And, and that did not go unnoticed. You did it for me. You really weren't ever doing it for them because you don't love them. You can't love them. That's demonic energy. And I know that's rough to accept about your biological family down here, but... I've been telling you that since 2013, even before, they're demons, Lena. They don't appreciate you. They don't like you. They always hurt you, always. But you never fully, you didn't want to believe it, and I don't blame you. I believe it now, the way I felt this morning and then revisiting Armand DeMille and that, I, I, I believe it now. And I'm not upset by it. I just do want to get past it. I'm tired of having flashbacks about the molestation. I'm tired of all of it. Mm -hmm. Well... Photographs will trigger you when they're all sitting there in your file. But if you could just avoid them or delete them, you have my blessing. Well, yeah. because I, you know, do you remember? Yes, when I was, uh, when I was a teenager and I was with a boyfriend that was beating me and the one that I was, you know, kind of sexually addicted to. What's the long story? When we, when I finally, when I broke up with him, I had so many photo albums full of uh, pictures of us together. I used to take a lot of photographs all the time. Those little disposable cameras. and I buy, buy, go through like 10 of those a week sometimes. Love taking pictures. I destroyed every photograph of that life. I don't have one photograph of me with that guy. I also destroyed every picture from my life with my ex-husband, Stephen. Mm -hmm. Again, thousands upon thousands of photographs, all gone. Beautiful photographs. Many of my beautiful dogs that I had during that time. That's what I regret, not having the pictures of those dogs. But I left all those photograph albums behind. And he kept asking me, do you want these pictures? And I said, throw them away, destroy them. He kept them for a long time. And finally he was moving with his new wife out to Long Island. And he said, I'm going to get rid of them, Lynn, because she doesn't want them in the house. And I said, go ahead. I didn't want them either. So I guess should I just, well, he did destroy a few of them like pictures of your parents and it always seemed to make you feel better so the next time you go through your photos of uh in your amazon files which is the only place you have pictures of them feel free to delete them you don't have to do it all in one day but just let's go through them one by one so that when we yeah but what about the one with girly her face is so beautiful in that picture and she's looking at my father with so much love. That's a testament to her, honey. 
Keep that picture if you love it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh.